In this video, I will show you how you can create a Facebook chatbot that will boost your sales and automate your customer support. And I will guide you step by step. So I will show you what chat automation platform you should use, how you can connect it to your Facebook page and how you can set up these automated funnels. And at the end of this video, I will even give you two templates for free so you don't have to build it out yourself. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Joran and I'm the founder of Chatomize. And at Chatomize, we are inspiring over 50,000 people every month to create chat automations that generate more leads, increase your revenue and reduce your costs. And we are working with businesses from small to large and in any industry. So if you just follow the steps in this tutorial, it will work for your business as well. So in the rest of this video, we are going to create a Facebook chatbot. And in order to create our Facebook chatbot, we are going to use ManyChat. And ManyChat is the chat automation platform that I've been using for my own clients for the last four years. And we use ManyChat because they're very easy to use. If you don't have any experience with chat automation, you can get started immediately. They're 100% meta approved. So that means that you can use them without the risk of getting banned. And they are very cheap. They offer a free plan, but they also have a pro plan, but that already starts at $15 a month, which is a very low price. So you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC and that will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And here you can click on get started and then log in with your Facebook account. And then you can connect one of the Facebook pages you're an admin of and connect that to ManyChat. But I already have an account, so I will just click on sign in and then click on sign in with Facebook. So now I'm logged in and before we can create our Facebook chatbot, there's something we need to check. So if you can go to settings and then click on messenger and then scroll down and then you need to check if the current ManyChat role is set to primary. If this isn't set to primary, it's usually set to unknown or secondary, but it needs to be primary because if it isn't primary, not all the features will work. Uh, so therefore you need to set it to primary and you can just do that by following this link and then follow the steps in that help desk article. So once you have done that, you can come back and we can create our first ManyChat automation. And first I will show you how we can create a Facebook chatbot that will boost your sales. And this will at least double your conversions compared to traditional channels such as email and landing pages. So we can just click on automation, click on new flow, and then here we need to select the trigger. So what we're going to do is let's say we are a fitness coach and we have a paid program. Then we can promote our paid program in our Facebook post. So we can say, hey, you can get a 50% discount if you just comment below. When they comment on that Facebook post, we can automatically reply to that comment with another comment and we can start a conversation in Facebook Messenger. And then in Facebook Messenger, we can give them the discount code that will go to our website and they can complete the transaction there. So the first step that we need to do is we need to determine the trigger. And the trigger in our case will be when someone comments on one of our Facebook posts. So that's what we're going to create first. So we are going to click on new trigger and then select the user comments on your post. And then you need to go with any post in general, I recommend going with any post because then you can just create one automation and use that over and over again in all of your Facebook posts. So go with any post and then you also only want to reply to specific words. So don't go with any words, go with a specific word. So in our Facebook post, you can say something like, if you want to get access to my program to gain more muscle, comment gain to get your 50% discount. So what we're going to do here is we only want to reply with comments that include gain. And what you also want to do here is add some misspellings because people could misspell this word. So maybe you also want to add Jayan and maybe you also want to add Jan or Jin. And then that automation will also trigger. And then you can set it up to only track first level comments. So that means that Facebook will only reply to comments that are on the first level. So a comment to a comment is on the second level and it won't reply to that. So we are going to track first level comments only. And 
we can do the public auto response. And the public auto response is the automatic reply comment that we can send when they comment on our Facebook post. So we're going to do that. So what we can do is we can add this and I will just uh, copy this from my second screen so we can say just send you a message to your inbox in messenger check your inbox and the discount code is in your inbox and by adding multiple variations it doesn't look spammy on facebook and many chats will just randomly pick one of these variations for each and every comment what we also can do is automatically like comments so if you check this many chat will also automatically like the comments so that's what we can do. We can hit save. And then we can determine our first message in Facebook Messenger. So again, they comment on our Facebook post. Then we can reply to that comment with another comment in the comment section. That's the public auto response. And what we're now going to set up are the messages in Facebook Messenger. So here we set up Messenger. And then we need to set it up to send as a comments reply. If you don't set it as sent as a comments reply, it will not work. And what's also important is that this first message can only contain text, buttons and quick replies. We cannot send other elements such as images or cards, galleries, videos, you name it. We cannot use that. We can only use text, buttons and quick replies. So as the first message, what we can send is are you ready to gain more muscle and take your body to the next level? Just click the button below to unlock your 50% discount. And then we can add a button with unlock my discount. And when this button is pressed, we can send them another message. So we can just click on this or what you can do is you can drag this to a new message. And in that other message, we're going to give them the discount. So here we can say, awesome. You can use this coupon code on your checkout to unlock your 50% discount, discount 50. Just click the button below to get access to the program. And again, then we can add another button and that button goes to your website. So when they click on access the program, we can click on open website and that will go to your website URL. So in this case, I would just send it to my website URL, but you need to change that to your own website URL. So then we click on done. So we basically ask if they want to get the discount. If they say yes, unlock my discount, then we send them another message with the actual discount. And then if they click on that button, that will go to your website. So this is already pretty awesome, but there's even more that we can do. Because what you would normally do is send them to your website and then retarget them using Facebook ads. The thing is, we can actually retarget them with Facebook Messenger for free. So we don't have to use those retargeting ads. We can just use Facebook Messenger to retarget them for free. So what we can do as a next step, we can add a smart delay and we will set the smart delay to one hour. And what this means is that ManyChat will just wait for one hour and then we'll continue with the flow. So it will wait. And after what, that one hour, we can send another message. And in this message, we, we are going to say, were you able to get access to, and then the name of your program, please click on one of the options below. Then we add two options. So we add two buttons. The first button is, yes, I'm in. If they click on this button, then we're going to send the message. That's great. I'm glad you're part of the program. I'm just adding that over here. That's great. I'm glad you're part of the program. If you have any questions going through it, feel free to send an email to info at Chatamize, and this needs to be your own email. But we can also add still thinking. So that's when people are still thinking or they're not convinced to buy your program immediately. If that happens, what we can do is we can send them another message with, I understand. I will bring in someone from our team to help you with this. So what we can actually do is send this conversation to one of your sales agents and they can hopefully close that sale. So after this message, what we will do is we will add another step and that will be an action. Then we can click on live chat. Then we can mark the conversation as open. Then we can Again, add another action and then assign the conversation to someone in your team. So in this case, I would just assign it to me, but you can assign it to a specific group of agents or to a specific agent. 
And then lastly, we can add another action that will notify the assignee. So the person that is assigned will get a notification via email. So then we can set this live. So this is great. So we can actually give them the discount, then wait for one hour and ask if they did get access to the program. If they say yes, then we, we thank them and we wish them luck with the program. And if they have any questions, you can just send an email. And if they're saying, I'm still thinking about buying the program, then you can just send them to one of your sales agents and they can hopefully close the sale. But that's how we can use a Facebook chatbot to get more sales. And again, this will at least double your conversions compared to more traditional channels such as email and landing pages. But now that we are promoting our program, it might be that people have questions about it and we can automatically answer those questions by using ManyChat. And I'm just going to show you how we can do that right now. So if we go to automation, we can click on new flow and then here we need to determine to what questions we want to reply. So in our case, we're just going to go with the example of payments. So people have questions about the payment plans of your program or what payment methods they can use. So every time someone messages us something about payments, we can automatically reply to that. So we can add a new trigger and then you need to click on user sends a direct message with a keyword and the message will contain payment. So if a message contains payment, then we're going to reply with this ManyChat flow. So we click on create and the content will be messenger and this will be to send within the 24 hour window. So that's working fine. And then we can reply with, you can pay for our program by using a credit card or PayPal. The program is available for a one-time payment of $199 or you can pay in three terms of 99. So that answers our question. And every time you gave an answer to their question, you actually need to check if it answers their original question as well. So what we can do after this as a next step, we can ask another question and we can ask, does this answer your question? Very simple. Then we can add two buttons with yes, thank you. And we can add a button with nope, not really. If they reply with yes, thank you, then we say great. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them here. If they say nope, not really, what we're going to say is that's a bummer. Shall I connect you to one of our support agents? Then we can add and two buttons again so we can add one button with yes please and we can add another button with nope thank you oh nope thank you so if they say yes please what we can do is we can send them a message but we will now connect you with one of our support agents and we will do the same thing that we did before so again we will add the actions we will mark the conversation as open we will assign someone to that conversation and we will notify the person that is assigned. If they say no, no, thank you. So they don't have to be connected to one of our support agents. Then we can say, okay, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them here. So it's very simple. So if someone asks a message related to payments, we automatically answer with that message. Then we ask, does this answer your question? If they say yes, thank you, then say great. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them here. If they say nope, not really, then we say that's a bummer. Shall I connect you to one of our customer support agents? If I say yes, please, then it will be connected. If they say nope, no, thank you, okay. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask them here. So we're just going to click on set live and I'm going back because I also need to check if this one is also live. Yeah, that one is also live. So now we'll just go to my Facebook page and we'll show you how this works on Facebook. So now I'm on my Facebook page and I will just grab one of my Facebook posts and reply with gain. And this comment is now triggering the ManyChat flow. So now automatically I get a message in Messenger with are you ready to gain more muscle, take your body to the next level? Just click the button below. So I'm just clicking on that button that will go further inside the conversation and will say, awesome, you can use this coupon to get your 50% discount. 
Just click the button below to get access to the program. Click on access the program and that will go to your website. And normally after one hour, it will send the rest of the flow as well. And now if I have a question about the program, I say I have a question about the payments of the program. And because this message includes the word payment, we are going to automatically reply with that. So we're hitting this and it says, you can pay for a program by using credit card or PayPal, is available for $199 or three terms of 99. Then we say, does this answer your question? Then I say, no, not really. And then we say, shall I connect you to one of our support agents? And I say, yes, please. And it says, we will now connect you with one of our support agents. So then if I go here and I go to live chat and I filter on assigned to me and it's an open conversation, then here you will see the conversation. And what you can do is you can pause the automation and this will pause the automation for 30 minutes. So I can always add another delay. So I can also set it to one day, for example. So then the many chat automations will not work for one day. And then the customer support agent can take over. So here I can say, okay, what is your question about? And then this will also be sent here in Facebook Messenger. So then I can say back as a customer, I can say, can I also pay in five terms? But then you can have a back and forward conversation between the customer support agent and a customer. So that's also a great feature of ManyChat. It's not only a chatbot, you can also hand over the conversation to one of your support agents and they can take over. Once you're done with this conversation, you have solved their answer, then you can just remove this delay and you can just close this conversation. And now any of the ManyChat automations that you have set up before will work again. But that's it. That's how you can create a Facebook chatbot that will boost your sales and automate your customer support. And in this video, I use the example of a fitness coach, but this will work for any type of business. So you can just go to the link in the description and there you will find the free two many chat templates that you can use to get started today. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating Facebook chat funnels or on using ManyChat, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.